Hi friends, my name is Ravindra. Today we see about the use, how we can take a de daily data was table backup using Power Automate in SharePoint. Okay. We also see the flow of this, how I created this flow, I will tell you. What are the use cases of this scenario, daily data was table backup using Power Automate in SharePoint. The use cases are automatically export data was custom tables daily to excel and save the backups versions in one drive those tables include lookup columns and choice columns we use those backups as a second backup in additional to the power platform NOS system backups in case of data losses or corruption we can bulk delete the data was tables records and use data flows to load the data from the backup excel files for creating this okay we have to first go to make.powerapps okay in data work, go in tables okay in table go create new table okay give here name to your table we give here name table one okay and save this this will create a new table in your environment okay i have created already one table okay we search for that table here ravindra table okay we go and edit this we go and edit this this will open a new window for us for creating the columns and tables in our record okay here you can give some text to here let me give Ravi Dhradha Dhradha okay tab it will create the new record okay it's saving it taking time our record is saved we go back at here in advanced property click here and publish the table use this function okay after that we go to the power automate for creating the table okay first it is uh, giving the request for sign in i sign in after that we uh, already created the flow i will show you that flow okay you can take schedule flow for this okay schedule give your flow to the name okay and take interval to the day okay and click on create after that i wish we go in my flows and this data 3 it's taking time for loading okay and data 3 is failed every time here we take in a flow okay you can see here taken for the recurrence if every day it will occur when a row is added or modified or deleted okay here change type added modified or deleted we taken we have to give here table name okay after pressing here you get table list all and choose your table we have choose here table okay after that give here name scope organizational after that we use compose method for when this message will trigger okay uh, compose input we take from our interval in recurrence sdk And apply one condition here okay if condition output is equal to update then flow uh, create item in SharePoint okay this is one flow you can take okay I will show you this is first we apply recurrent step after that when we added when a row is added modify or deleted after that we add a compose action apply condition okay for if condition if uh, it is updated okay we can go for this 
in but of my scenario uh, when it not updated that type only how to create items okay and also you can go for here and create items okay this uh, runs every day okay i will show you the test manually okay i have it flow this flow is already run i will show you that my flows data to here details it taking time for loading okay this taking too much time load you can see this is uh, running every day successfully okay let's we go and show you how it's working you can see our flow is run successfully I will also show you the SharePoint list how I created this SharePoint list. Okay, one minute. Patch example one. Data works backup. Here you can see our. it uh, here you can see our daily backups are coming to the share in sharepoint here all the records are stored that we have created in data works every day record is updating okay similarly uh, one more flow i have created here okay or i will show the condition flow. by using this flow also you can update the records okay in sharepoint this also successfully run you can see 5 4 3 2 1 okay let's we go and play it in edit mode first we apply the recurrence step and it will run in every day okay after that we take a list row action in microsoft given the table name and apply condition to each okay and get the values value get items we give sharepoint list address list name uh, no advanced conditions are uh, in filter query we give here title equal to name length is not equal to 0 or length condition is length output get items question mark body value we get this we press that length and after that we go on dynamic content and take a body input from here okay after we go and apply each condition for updating the item and give site address list name and what updates we have to what items we have to update id and title that's why we given here sharepoint id 
name latest title we have to update name that's why given name here similar for this also okay, name this flows are running every day and i we are taking backup of data words in our sharepoint okay that's all about friends uh, i also written blogs on this if you have some uh, doubts and questions you can go and read the blogs as well okay this is for sharepoint this is for uh, one is for excel and one is for sharepoint you can take uh, backup data in both of the sites okay no problem that's all about you friends thank you if you have some questions you can ask me in comments or you can message me on linkedin